Jamal Nayaz here, an absolutely packed Dublin arena with the notorious MMA, Conor McGregor. How great does it feel to be soaking in this crowd? It's great to be back here in Dublin, Ireland, watching the fight, soaking it in. I look forward to it. That lights have to go. There we go. I look forward to uh, getting back in myself soon. You're looking absolutely stacked. What weight are you walking around I at right I now? I haven't touched the scale in a long time, to be honest. I've been just eating, lifting and enjoying myself and that's that, you know what I mean? So. In, yeah. in terms of a possible return date, could it be International Fight Week and what sort of opponents do you have in mind? I would like International Fight Week, we'll see though, you know, I'm not going to make, I've, I've got to just take it day by day. You know, April will be back sparring, they say, and you know, back twisting and throwing and, you know, I was told I could box a couple of months back and then all of a sudden I couldn't box, so I'm just taking it day by day, you know, there's no rush. I'm in a great place mentally, physically I feel strong, I feel energetic, I'm always eager to get in a fight. So you just take it day by day and it'll happen. You mentioned the it'll boxing happen side when of the it. Lord, you know, wants it to happen. So that's the boxing side of it. Who who was in mind for that one? The boxing side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, there was loads of options, but you know, MMA is where it's at for the minute. The boxing side of it is crazy at the moment. What do you rate the boxing game? I, I spoke to Eddie Hearn a few years ago, and I remember you shared that interview when you said, "Dance for me, Eddie." When he <laughs> said he would work for, he would yeah, potentially yeah. work with you. He has very kind words to say. He says yeah. that he's always starstruck when he's around yeah. you. Would you ever work with Eddie Hearn? Uh, sure, why not? No problem with Eddie. Never said. Obviously, as you said, always been respectful to me. Yeah. He's doing big things in boxing. All the love in the world and respect to Eddie and, and the matchroom team. I have to ask as well, Gaethje Oliveira is coming up. What do you make of that? Who do you see coming out on top of it? You're about the fourth person to say it's coming up. I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it being uh, made official yet. So, you know, who knows? If that happens in what May, then what that may take Oliveira or you know out of the you know international fight week if I do come back. So I don't know whether that's going to happen, you know. So let's see what happens. Welterweight run would that would that be a chance yeah, as well for, for sure, a title for shot? sure? But uh, some about the lightweight, I've got a, I don't know some about that lightweight division. You know, I got the weight off me. I was primed as a lightweight fighter. You know, it was not easy. It was a lot of hard work. People say oh, I'm too successful to put in the real hard work well you know they're going to see when this Netflix documentary drops what real hard work is you know what I mean I didn't just land in this position by chance it was through years and years and years of insane work ethic and hard work and commitment so you know we, we, you know I got myself down to lightweight after being successful at welterweight in a 40 second KO and you know I could do it again you know I'm just taking it day by day see what happens when you talk now there is obvi the obvious hunger but there is like, not anger, but there's real, real passion in your voice. Yeah. How, how would you compare the passion you have for the game now compared to th those 2012, 2013 days? What's it like? Because you're in a, a totally different state of mind, right? For sure, right? for sure. I'm just a more aware of my own self, you know what I mean? I've had, I've had dibs in the game where I've not, like, you know, I've, I've never stopped training, first and foremost, but I've had times where I would, you know, train other things rather than martial arts training. Right now, obviously, with the injury, martial arts training has kind of had to take a back step. So I'm doing everything else that I can. I was in the surgery bed. After surgery, I was in the surgery bed with a little small weight. After getting the, the titanium rod put into the leg, like that, working on my forearm, just trying to get a bit of strength. In the, you know, just trying to switch everything back on and I worked everything that I could physically work bar the leg until I can work the leg. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So, you know, I'll get back to my martial arts training when God permits and the injuries uh, healed and then I'll go from there. The lightweight division is so fun. In back in England, we have Paddy Pimblett. I personally would love to see that fight. He's, yeah. he's similar to you in that he is, you know, he's a polarizing figure. Love him or hate him, he yeah, brings he's a, it. He's a good, he's a good kid, Paddy. The Scousers, you gotta love the Scousers. You know, my father was born in Liverpool. My, my one side of my family is from there. Is from there. So I got a lot of love for that uh, that part of the world. And who knows, you know, and he, I will never say no to nothing. You know what I mean? Never say never as they say. Perfect. Connor, yeah. thanks so much for your time, man. Thank you.